Hey, it's Jeff Sadowski coming again from uh, Greenville, Simpsonville area. Crowds out the door about 600 today. Been great all day. I'm going to give you guys a look in, inside and also some highlights from the rest of the day. Great receptions. We're in the old bus going all across this state and back uh, around again. We're going to be in about 35 towns and communities by the time we wind up Saturday. And uh, just talk, taking it to the folks, talking about the uh, things that I've been talking about ever since I've been in public life. The world we live in and the issues change and the circumstances change and sometimes people change. But the principles don't change. The fundamental first principles of this country don't change. Right. And that's what this is all about uh, for me, because we live in the greatest country in the history of the world by any objective measurement. And it's every generation's obligation to keep it that way. And in order to keep it that way, we've got to understand how it got that way. As far as I'm concerned, it's those fundamental principles that got us that way. And that's why I said the other night in the debate that uh, this was about a battle over the heart and soul of the Republican Party, as far as I was concerned. Do we still believe in those principles? Do we still believe in the bedrock principles that form the basis of the Reagan coalition? I think the answer to that is yes. A lot of people read some public opinion polls and they say, well, no, the, the way to uh, beat the Democrats is to be more like them. I disagree with that. I think, I, I think we need to adhere to what made our party successful and more importantly, what made our nation successful. Amen. Um, Okay, I'm Kent McManus. This is my daughter, Katie Beth McManus. We're in Greenwood, South Carolina, and we're here for the Fred Thompson Show. Fred Thompson for president. My daughter and I have been a supporter of Fred since the beginning, and we have pictures made with Fred. We got the only button here in town today because <laughs> the buttons weren't put on the bus. But we uh, really enjoy seeing Fred. We have a good handshake, some pictures. And my daughter. Good luck in the 2008 election. Good luck in the 2008 election. And um, why thought, do you like Fred? Ah, uh, well, the other night on the presidential debate at Myrtle Beach, it was kind of interesting the way Fred made the other Republican candidates look like children. I thought he handled it in a fashion, Reaganistically, that everybody was just kind of childish in his book, I thought. He just kind of laid the law down and spoke up and got a lot of respect. Told it like it was. And I think that meant a lot. Right. Anything you'd like to say there? I like his plan with the legal immigrants and what he plans to do. Yeah, oh, his policies are great. <laughs> All for his policies. He's got the look. He's a man's man. He's the Earnhardt of politics. All right. All right.